Question 11 says solve 5 bracket y plus 2 equal to 4 bracket y minus 1. So to solve this, the first thing we do is we will expand the bracket. So this is going to be 5 times y will be 5y. 5 times plus 2 will be plus 10. 4 times y will be 4y. 4 times minus 1 will be minus 4. At this point, you need to now collect your like terms. You move all the no y to one side and all the numbers to one place. Okay, so we have 5y here. Plus 4y coming over will become what? Minus 4y equal to minus 4. Plus 10 crossing over will become what? Minus 10. So this will be 5y minus 4y is going to be what? Yes, I know some people will say 1y, but in mathematics, we don't write 1y. You write y. So this is going to be minus 4 minus 10. Now that will give us what? Minus 14. So my final answer, it's minus 14. So D is the correct answer here, and I will mark D. Okay? So the next question says, a polygon with 10 sides is called what? Now, let me just show you everything now. For a 5 side, it's called what? Pentagon. For a 6 side polygon, it's called what? Hexagon. For a 7 side polygon, it's called what? Heptagon. Okay? Now, for an 8 side polygon, it's called what? Octagon. For a 9 side polygon, it's called what? Nonagon. Now, for a 10 side polygon, it's called what? Decagon. Now you can guess our answer. It's D, and this is the correct answer. Okay? So that will take us to question 13. Now, question 13 says, write this number in words. Now, this number is, since it's, we have um, 12 digits, so um, it means it's in billions. So this is 999 billion, 999 million, 999,995. So let's check our A option. So A says 999 billion, 999 million, 999,900. So A is wrong. Now B says 999 billion, 999,000. So because he didn't mention million first, B is wrong. Now C says 999 billion, 999 million, 999,000. 995. So this is correct. So I'm sure this is going to be a wrong answer. 999 billion, 999 million, 999,905. So this is also wrong. So the correct answer there is C. Now question 14 says, when X is doubled and 15 is added, the result is 35. Find the number. Now, it says x is doubled. Now, when x is doubled, it makes what? x plus x. So, and 15 is added plus 15. The result is 35. So, let's perform this. x plus x, 2x plus 15 is equal to 35. Now, collect like terms. 2x will be equal to what? 35 minus plus 15 coming over will become minus 15. So, this will now be 2x will be... 35 minus 15 will give us what? That's 20. Therefore, our x will be 20 divided by 2, which will give us 10. So let's check it. When 10 is doubled, 10 plus 10 is what? 20. And 15 is added. The result is 35. So the correct answer is what? 10. So mark this. So question 15 says, each interior angle of a regular polygon is 2y plus 36. If each exterior angle of the polygon is 2y, find the value of y. Now, for polygon, interior angle, interior angle plus exterior angle will always give you what? 180 degree. Once you know this, you can solve this question. So anytime you add the interior angle plus the exterior angle, you get what? 180 degree. So this is going to be... 2, um, 2y plus 36 plus 2y will give us what? 
180 degree. So 2y plus 2y is 4y plus 36 is equal to what? 180. We collect our like terms, 4y will be 180 minus 36. Now let's do our 180 minus 36. So this is going to be, carry 1 here, here remains 7. 10 minus 6 is 4. 7 minus 3 will be 4, and I have 1. So we have our 4y will be 144. Our y will be 144 divided by 4. So when you do 144 divided by 4, 4 into 14 will be 3, remainder 2. 4 into 24 is going to give us um, 6. So this is 36 degree is our final answer. So B is the correct answer. So I'll mark my B. Okay. So that will take us to question 16, which says convert this number in base 2 to denary. So... Now, to convert to denary means convert to what? Base 10. So, this will be 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, base 2. Now, I'll call this my 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So, this is how it's going to be. It will be 1 times 2 raised to power 6 for the first one plus the second one will be 1 times 2 raised to power 5 plus 0 times 2 raised to power 4 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 3 plus 0 times 2 raised to power 2 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 1 plus 0 times 2 raised to power 0. Okay, so now 2 raised to power 6, when you check it, um, when you check your multiples of 2, that's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, times two it's going to give you 64. 2 raised to the power of 5 will be 32. Now, 0 times anything will give you 0. So this is going to give me 0. So two, 1 times 2 raised to the power of 3. 2 raised to the power of 3 is 8. So 1 times 8 will be 8. Plus, so 0 times anything will give us 0. Plus 1 times 2 raised to the power of 1 will be 2. Plus, this would be 0. So, 64 plus 32 is going to give us um, 96. 96 plus um, 8 is going to give us um, 104. 104 plus 2 will give us 106. So, the correct answer here is 106. And we'll mark our B. So, question 17 says the perimeter of a square is 16 cm. Find the area of the square. Now, this is the, our square. Now, what do you understand by perimeter? Remember the size of the square? This is um, this is x, this is x, this is x, this is x. Why? Because all the sides of the square are equal. So, perimeter is what? Add all the sides. x plus x plus x plus x is equal to what? 16 cm. Now, when you sum this up, this will be what? 4x will be what? 16. x will be what? 16 divided by 4. So that means our x is what? 4cm. Okay? So now we know our x to be what? 4cm. What is the area of a square? Find the area. Our area is what? Length times width. So which will be? The length is 4 and the width is also what? 4. So which will give us what? 16 cm squared so i think they did not put the answer in the correct format so the correct answer is um 16 cm squared okay so that will take us to question 18 now question 18 says factorize 12p squared q minus 9q squared okay now to factorize 12 p squared q minus 9 q squared now check what can divide through here okay now 3 can go so we'll bring out 3 we have p squared here we don't have p so p can go we have q and we have q squared here so 1q can also go so 12 into 3 will be what this will be 4 now, Q cancel Q and we'll have what? P squared left minus 9 divided by 3 will be 3. Q squared divided by Q will be Q. Now, let's test our equation. 3 times 4 will be 12. And P 
p squared is here then we have q so let's check this other one this will be 3q times minus 3q 3 times 3 will be 9 q times q will be what q squared so this is our correct answer so let's check from what we can see the correct answer will be d so d is our correct answer now the question 19 says which of the following figure does not have a line of symmetry now the first one is a rhombus let's draw our rhombus now this is what a rhombus looks like it's exactly like a kite so now this is the line of symmetry so a rhombus has two line of symmetry now for a rectangle and remember the lines of symmetry must be equal, equal um it must cut across okay this is for a rectangle now a parallelogram does not have a line of symmetry so this does not have any line of symmetry why kite is the same thing as a rhombus so the correct answer here it's um c c is the correct answer so a parallelogram has no line of symmetry now that takes us to question 20 which says simplify that now we want to simplify one and a half plus two and a half times three over four minus one over two now what do you do here you apply your words your board maths now which one comes first that's the multiplication so one and a half will give us three over two plus two and a half will give us five over two times three over four minus half so i'm going to perform the multiplication first this will be three over two plus this will now be five times three will be 15 over two times four will be what eight minus half so i can now draw this on the same lcm so this will be eight so eight divided by two will have four four times three will have 12 plus eight into eight is one one times 15 will be 15 minus eight into two will be um that will be eight divided by two will give us um four four times one will be four so we have 12 plus 15 minus four that will give us um 12 plus 15 will give us 27 27 minus 4 will give us 23 over 8 now change this to a proper fraction 8 into 23 will give us two whole number 7 over 8 okay so this is our final answer now let's check from our option i don't think any of the answer here is correct so this is our correct answer so the answer is two whole number 7 over 8 so please, if you've not hit the subscribe button, try and hit the subscribe button so that you can get updates from us.